This video will show how Child Support Services will file a petition on an existing case with an order and a summons request. After you've logged in to your eFlex account, you will click eFile Existing Case. Or you can go to your home page and click existing cases here. On this page, you can put your docket number in and you have several options. You can choose history, see all the history on the case number that you listed. You can click on the service list and that will provide you information of parties who are signed up for the eFlex account and are getting notifications electronically as well as showing you parties who are not on the eFlex system and who will need to either be served by a certificate of service or summons. You also choose to not enter a case number here, click the search cases button, and you can enter the name and search by case name. For this video, we are going to e-file on the existing case in the circuit court. And I'm going to click the e-file tab. As you see, the names are not available due to the training video. So the names will actually show up as sealed for the training purposes. As you see, here's a domestic petition case. I'm going to click category, go to my child support enforcement filings. Here are my options for a state petition for contempt, state petition to modify. For this example, I'm going to do a state petition for contempt. On the additional text, you can specify which party you are filing on behalf of. I'll click the Browse button. Go to the file that I've saved on my desktop or computer. Click Add. As you see, as I said, the names are not available to be viewed for this demonstration, but normally the names would show up and appear for you so you can verify your case style. So now, if I am adding myself or adding my agency as a party to this case, depending on which person I am representing, the plaintiff, petitioner, defendant, respondent, is the button that I will click. In this case, in this example, I will add myself or the state as a party on behalf of the defendant or respondent. So I will click company. I'll enter the state of Tennessee name, business name, company name. For purposes of the video, I'm just going to click unknown address. Normally, you would put your business address here. As well, for the purpose of this video, I will not include an attorney. If you choose to add on, which you will need to, this is where you would click the add button. You would add the attorney name and bar, click save. You are signed up as your account holder. As I said in the previous video, this will automatically populate. I will click next. I've got the state of Tennessee added as a participant for the respondent. That's the only party I'm going to add in this case because I've already got originally the original defendant or respondent is already on the case since it's already been created. 
I'll go back. Here, I would add my additional documents. But for the purpose of the video, I will just add the show cause order. I would download it, click add. I've got my petition for contempt, got my show cause order. You would normally, of course, file all the additional pleadings that you would need to, to support your petition. But again, as I said before, I am showing you how to file a petition on an existing case with an order and a summons request. So therefore, I'll just show you those two options. Here I go, as I said in the, the previous videos, here are the selections here. I do have an order, so I will click service with order. Here are all of the selections here. Click Davidson County. Since it is a summons request, there is no document to download. I will click add. I'll go here to the parties. This is by the state because they are representing or filing on behalf of the defendant. And it's for the plaintiff. I will send it to the plaintiff here. This time, I will actually change and put in a new address. Click here, select the party. I'm adding my new address. I will click add. Here it's gonna show the state is filing or requesting the summons, it will be going to the plaintiff, which I had selected at this new address I provided. I'll click next. Now I will go and I will click and confirm my on behalf of's that I am filing on behalf of the defendant and I'm just specifying and confirming my selections here. If I wish to remove the documents to replace them, I can click the X here and remove the document and go back up to the top and re-add a new one. Again, edit data. You can take this edit any type of address or party information. This edit data will allow you to modify any information in regards to your summons request. I will hit next so I can complete my submission. And here, as you can see, here are my documents. Again, I can click this tab to go back to add or change or make any additions to any kind of a, any documents that I wish to provide or change. I click here. If I want to put special instructions for the clerk. And now I am going to submit the filing. I'll click OK. And now I have filed an existing case with an order and a summons request